Um, and a big victory yesterday. What did you make of the performance? I thought, you know, it was a terrific performance from, you know, all the players that went on the field. I thought, you know, and I said earlier on in the week, there was glimpses of, of that type of performance in the second half of Dewsbury. You know, the result was clearly not there against Dewsbury, but there was glimpses in that Dewsbury second half where we, we started to look like a team and some of the defensive efforts and, and, you know, that carried over. But then we were a lot more clinical in attack and, and you know, and I thought our attack yesterday was very good. Yeah. What was the feeling in the dressing, like, dressing room like before the game to obviously beat a team who just won nine games in a row? Well, clearly happy, you know. It's, it wasn't just about beating a team that had won nine in a row. You know, when you win, you're always happy. So everyone likes winning. So, yeah, it was obviously a good mood in the dressing room after. But I think the mood was more because, we, you know, we had a good week in training. We, again, there was things in the Dewsbury game that, that were a real plus, And then we took that into Halifax game. So there was also that feeling as well that, you know, we, when we put things together, there is a good side there. Yeah, individually, just to pick out a couple of performances as well. Ollie Brooks came in on the wing again once, once again today, here yesterday, and put his body on the line for the try. What did you make of his overall performance and that try as well? Yeah, he's been good. You know, he's had his chance now, and he's, you know, he's grabbed it, and that's a little bit what this season has been about as well. You know, he's he's come in, he's took his try really well, he's done his job, which he needs to do defensively. He was very good, which is important for a winger, and. Again, these little stories that are helpful along the way. Again, Will Talik, I thought, had his... I mean, he's not missed a game this year. He's Emmy, a young kid, and he was very good. His last stint was excellent. So these little things that we're, we're, we're gaining along the way was good. You know, it was pleasing to watch a couple of young lads step up again. Yeah, some of the older lads as well there. Kenny, after signing his new deal, was outstanding in the middle again yesterday. Were you pleased with his performance? Yeah, not just Kenny. I thought all the middles, all the forwards put in a real shift yesterday, considering... We we only we well, we had one forward on the bench and three back, so they had to put a shift in. Jack playing in the middle as a thirteen was was excellent. Kenny Shane played sixty five minutes straight, which was a huge effort. So Cluffy coming back from injury, you know, all, all the middles, all the forwards, should I say, put in a real good shift. Adam Lawton again as well. So it was a tough day for them because we didn't have. I mean, we had three backs on the bench, which obviously helps. It doesn't help your rotation in terms of forwards. We lost um, early, early in the game, so we were down a sub, and then Aiden come on and went off with a head knock. So, you know, for, for, I've left Lewis Hume out. I thought he was excellent as well, and again, he didn't. He, he come off the field for about five minutes and had to go back on. So it was a huge effort for our forwards. And again, you know, we we finished the game really strong, which was important because we could have, you know, that was a game where the things went against us during the game. We didn't have many forwards, and the back end of the game could have looked like a struggle for us, but. The, the boys really dug in and I thought we finished the game really strong. Our last 15 minutes, you could argue that was our best 15 minutes, which is pleasing for a coach. Yeah. Would you say it was up there with the, with the better performance of this season? Probably, yeah. You know, in terms of the overall, I thought our attack was really slick and, you know, we caused them problems most times we had the ball and, and defensively, you know, we, we worked really hard and we... We look pretty solid, so yeah. In terms of probably the overall we picture and a bit of adversity we had throughout the game, yeah, it probably was our best performance. But you know, it's it's one performance in, in the season. You know, we've got to look over it today, pick out the positives, fix the things we weren't good at, and then go again on Sunday because it's no good playing one good game, putting that performance together. We got to back it up. Yeah, yeah. What I hope for the rest of the season, then after a performance like that, because obviously we slipped down a couple of places, but we're still. We're still in a decent spot in the league. What are your hopes for the rest of the season? Just to build on, you know, that Dewsbury, again, I go back to it. it the Dewsbury second half, there was for a coach and, and us as a staff, there was there was some things we've seen in that that we haven't seen for a while and certain things you can build on and that progressed into the Halifax game. So over a longer period of the game, clearly, because we got the result. And, and I think, you know, we had a spell in the first half probably for about 15 minutes where we were really under pressure, but we hung in there, which is a plus, And then... We come through the other side and finish the game strong. So again, we just got to maintain that and build it and, and take that into the next game and be consistent with it because it is there. But the good teams show consistency. So now that's our challenge. Yeah, well, just a word on Jack as well. You mentioned him before. Obviously, passed Mick Nannan to get up to eighth in the all-time scoring list uh, on Sunday. How how far do you think he can go up that list? I don't know how many points he's got to get to the top because you know I'm not good on my records. But it's a big achievement, you know. The, to be in the top 10 at this club is a huge, huge personal achievement for him. And, and 
he's been here and he's only, only 26, so you don't know how far he can get. And, but what he gives to the team isn't just points, you know. I mean, yesterday is a good example. He played 13. He's a fullback, but he was excellent for that 30 minutes that he played in the middle. He, he had a huge impact on the game. So in terms of points, it's a great accolade for him as a personal individual record. But what he gives to the team is more than points. As you say yesterday, he's our captain. He plays out of position and he still puts in a performance like that. So, yeah, it's 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 a really good achievement for him. But for me, he gives a lot more than just points in the record. But one of them things you'll look back on when he finishes and if he gets closer to the top or to the top, it's a really good achievement for him because it's such a, a prestigious club to be in the top 10 or any any top 10 in points is, is a, a really big achievement for him.